Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Wilhelm Scream and welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and Witch Queen Season of the Haunted Intel. Now, as I said in a previous video when I talked a little bit about the anarchy and how the damage it is doing currently is crazy broken, I also said that I would help any solo players out there who don't have this weapon actually acquire it. It is very good at the moment for both solo and group activities and good for ad clear as well as really good as you could see for boss DPS. So if you don't have this weapon and have always wished to get it, I know before I got it, it was definitely one of the things that I lusted after the most. Please stick around for all the information in today's video. But before I get into all of that, I just want to remind everybody, I'm still doing the giveaways on my YouTube channel every thousand subscribers. All you have to do to be entered into the next giveaway is like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on the bell notifications that's right next to the big red subscribe button, and follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box down below. You can also leave a comment in the comment section or any of the hashtags listed directly beneath this video in the comments section for another entry into that giveaway for this video. And remember, I do that for all videos, so if you haven't done this on a previous piece of content on this channel, you can always go back, check out another video, and of course, do it again. So, I'm not gonna lie, there is a fairly easy process in acquiring the Anarchy, but it is a little bit long. It's not gonna be that quick at least not for all of it. Some of it you can do in a weekend, some of it will take at least a few weeks, but there is more efficient ways than others. Now, if you do have some buddies who are willing to run some particular raids with you, you can actually expedite this process quite a bit. But as I said at the beginning, this is primarily for solo players. So though I might include some things that do pertain to people who aren't just playing solo. The majority of this will be specifically for people who are solo the majority of the time. Now, just to reiterate that this gun weapon is really, really broken. I don't know if it was just a secret buff to this weapon or what, but I have been using it all the time since I found out how much damage it is doing. And as you can see, it's not the single shot damage that does a lot. It's when you actually have a lightning chain to the enemy that it really bumps up. It'll go from 6,000 points of damage to 33,000. And there are certain mods, as I discussed in my previous video, that you can use to bump that up to 50,000 like you see me doing here. Now, the way you acquire Anarchy is through the Tower Exotic Kiosk. It is, unfortunately, one of the few weapons that requires Spoils of Conquest. Now, beyond that, you're going to need an Exotic Cipher, which you can get from Xur when he appears every Friday. You're going to need 150,000 Glimmer. Check out what Master Raul is selling on any given day as far as planetary materials and Glimmer, because there's usually a good exchange there for Legendary Shards. Every other day, that will probably be advantageous some days of course it doesn't always work but it does update every day so fairly consistently you'll find the glimmer you're looking for there and then of course you'll need two ascendant shards another place is master raul the best course of action some of that you'll have to just eat and cost the ascendant shards really being the number one thing. But if you are willing to run a Nightfall or two, even in the Matchmade playlist, you can probably get at least some Enhancement Prisms, which you can trade up for some Ascendant Shards. Or if you're able to run it in a group, even a fairly reasonable pickup group, you know, you can do that at the Legendary difficulty over and over again any given week. And you'll get some Ascendant Shards out of that for sure. Just give it some time. But now on to the spoils of conquest, and I'm sure most people are sick of watching this clip on repeat of me doing damage to Carl. So the rest of this is going to be just how you can actually acquire spoils of conquest each week as a solo player. Now, this is going to be for a fairly easy 30 spoils as a solo player every single week. 
or a slightly more difficult um, 45 Spoils of Conquest every single week as a solo player. Now, the reason I say easy and hard is because some of this you can do without having to have any interaction with anybody whatsoever. Some of it you might have to have a little bit of intera interaction even if you're doing the majority of the task solo. So for the easy 30 spoils of conquest every single week, number one being run the Vow of the Disciple. Now don't worry about completing any of the encounters. All you have to do is kill um, that first little mini boss in the beginning, which is very easy. Anybody can do it. There's no kill barrier. So you just wear them down as many times as they kill you. You can just keep respawning. And then you can just run past the actual activity, which is the boat, and just to these two or three little totems that you'll find in the, um, as you can see in the video here, shoot them. You can die to the environmental damage. You'll respawn close by, just continue forward. Shoot these nodes, don't worry about, worry about pervading darkness, and you can get the first secret chest, which will award you five spoils of conquest every week per character, so that's for that easy 15. And it's so easy to do, it's not worth doing it just on one character always do it on all three even if you don't have two other characters just make them just for this now the second part that actually does require a glitch the first part really didn't would require you actually getting a checkpoint for the final boss for vow of the disciple then you can backtrack do this out of bounds glitching and make your way to the next secret chest but, like I said, that does require you actually having some involvement with people and actually getting that checkpoint for the final boss. The glitching in this is fairly simple as far as jumps is concerned, but you do have to be aware of where certain load zones are so that you hit them properly or you don't get stuck, as that's a problem I've had a lot of people who have tried this after watching one of my videos have said they have. But just keep that in mind it does require a little bit of involvement with people. Now while I show you the route to this secret chest on the screen, I do just want to reiterate there are faster ways of farming spoils. I would say maybe the fastest way now, because all the raids are repeatable, is to just either farm the Templar encounter, which was always a really fast one, or you could even go and do uh, the Kali encounter again. Now, Kali used to be soloable because of another glitch that has unfortunately been patched. These would give you normally three spoils of conquest. I don't know when it's the weekly rotation or nary raid if it gives you five now, but the Kali encounter through a glitch with the anarchy, in fact, is actually really, really easy to farm. So some of the weapons are in there are really good as well, but um, it's definitely a good spoil farm uh, as well as all those other ones that I mentioned as far as raid encounters. But make sure to do them, of course, on the week when it is that week's featured raid. Now, the last secret chest that we're going to be going for, which I would say is very easy because you don't have to have any interaction with any other players. It's completely solo. You can do this on all three characters. I'm going to show you on a hunter just so you can understand that even on the most difficult of classes as far as doing some uh, out of bounds stuff, the hunter is still very capable of doing this. And in fact, some ways I actually like using the hunter for this glitch more so than Titans or Warlocks simply because of that jump that I just missed right there. But hunters do, if they can make a certain distance, have a very controlled jump, which I really like. So you're going to use the old rock to Glitch out of the map using a sparrow. You'll drop down below following the path that I show you here. Again, I'm doing this on a hunter. If you worry about dying at any point, don't. Um, I would suggest just try to make your way through. Don't worry about falling. Uh, if you do have any worry about maybe respawning somewhere else, the only tip I would give is when you do hit a new spot that is one of the new platforms that you're trying to reach, just stay there for a second. That'll establish that as the next spawn point. So when you do die, you will respawn there. Make your way across to this load zone. Make sure you load in 
and you'll find your way inside the Vault of Glass. You can make your way to the first secret chest, and you can do this, of course, on all three characters every single week for an easy 15. So, you need 240 Spoils of Conquest to acquire the Anarchy. So it is a bit of a slow road, but once you get it, once you have those 250, you can just instantly go up to the tower kiosk, and there you go. You'll have your anarchy. So hopefully someone found this video helpful. Hopefully it allows you to get your anarchy quicker or at all. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel to be entered into any future giveaways on this YouTube channel, as I said in the beginning of the video. And as always, I am Wilhelm Scream. Of course, we will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Little!